Chinese, and then if I don't understand, I'll ask you in English. Have you ever learned Chinese? You know, the best way is to get rid of the backup plan, right? So, learning Chinese is the best. Okay, that's good. Then I'm going to speak slower. How is the teacher teaching you about leadership? Because as a designer, as a creative person, you know what is the biggest strength of the artist? Creativity, creativity, creativity. But you are also a CEO now. 然后 CEO 要求是什么<咳> ？Management, discipline, and practice. And you are also, you know, because you will, you need to link your investor, and you need to persuade them to invest money. So sometimes you need to be calculate every interest or something. You know, speak some kind of, you know, uh, financial numbers language. Okay, and then you need you to talk to the engineer, you know, because you you your whole plan are supported by the advanced technology. So you need to speak to speak in engineer's te uh, language. So you need that I, I want to say is that you need to play different roles when talking with different people, and uh, you know you need you need to have various mindset to transform in every occasion. I just want to know how do, how do we do that. Especially as a, a desire and as a businessman, how do you balance it that? Okay, okay, good question. I think one thing that was missing in the role of the CEO that's actually more important than any of the other ones is the is the role of a leader. Leader might not be a good manager. Or who will every day stand in front of you and tell you what you should do. This is not my job. Or who will every day tell you. 这个数字为什么怎么样的？这个也不是我的工作。But every day, I will inspire you, move you, 鼓励你来找做一些比较不一样的东西。A leader brings the best out of people. When somebody can actually do something beyond what they thought originally they can do, even though 很痛很痛很痛，很辛苦，很累，但是最后他做得出来了。是一个 leader 最好的 quality. If I'm working with you, 本来你会可以到这里的，跟我工作好累好辛苦，但是你可以到这里的时候 ，you will forget about how painful it was. You only remember the achievement. As to how I do different language, my my biggest job in the company is 拉拉队。啊，我不是一个 finance person. I'm Dimitri for that. And Dimitri is one of the best finance people I know. But quality, I've passed for that. He's one of the best quality people I know. He came from years at IKEA, being the head of、uh, IKEA quality in Asia. But procurement, you know, I have Jerry for that. Jerry was, for 13 years was head of Ford procurement in Asia. Find people that are better than you. Inspire them. That's what my job is. I can't do their job. 
a lot of people in Taiwan, and maybe because it's the culture of Asians, and I'm Asian, Asian too, so I can, I can speak on that, is that we like to control things. We like to think that as a, as a, as a laoban, you're supposed to control everything. Okay, so control it. Because they find people that can do the job better than they can do it. And the only thing they can do is remove boulders, remove big rocks ahead of them. So we took this law, we can now you see the slow you can finally up to the loop clear. So don't think of a leader in Taiwan. You know, there are two different type of leaders. You know, and there are two different different type of employees. There are leaders that inspire and lead by example and move people forward. And there are leaders that use a whip and crack people. Back, 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 back. Right? And then two kinds of people as an employee, you have to remember as you become leader, their employees, you know, Becky just said, said it to me best. She said, there are people that work for you because they're afraid of you. They're afraid that you There are people that will be worried that they will disappoint you. Which kind of leader do you want to be? I'd rather be the second kind of leader. That's, that's what I do. Every day, yes, I look at finance because I, I have a little bit of finance background, so I look, look, look a little bit at finance. Yes, I look a little bit at design. Yes, I look a little bit at engineering. Yes, I look a little bit at software. Yes, I look a little bit at operation. A little bit of everything. That's my job. Jack of all trade, master of nothing. But, this is the leader. We Google Affordable 的衝突的要素之間在科技、價格、美學、設計種種要素之間最重要是什麼你知道嗎消費者消費者消費者消費者 consumer if consumer are happy they will support you if the consumer are not happy they won't support you doesn't matter how we be the product goal how whatever you know and and pay you they align no sin you know Right? No. Always focus on what the consumer wants. And if the consumer, you can put, it's very hard to measure consumer satisfaction, but it's a smile. Now, you guys had all a chance to ride GoGo and, and feel what it's like. I hope you got off the bike with a, ooh, that's all I needed. Ooh. That's what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to make you feel like you're having fun. And when you have fun, the consumer will support you. You have to take a decision to solve, don't make a nine, but you have one decision to make. How to make that make it so the consumers are happy? When you have to take a product to solve, you know, some people just want to solve. You don't take a, you know, take a new kind of linen, ah, or you don't take a, ah, you know, take a take a handle bar. But now it's just like this, can it? 然后很多家也在做,你可以在这边买到一根,刹车在这里买到一根,刹车在这里买一根,然后塑胶件在这里买一根,你知道吗? Unfortunately, 
that's one of the reasons why nobody broke through. Is because nobody used different ingredients. Nobody thought about to tie. You got only on the the tie leo the so to tie the tie, 差不多味道了。一定要找新的材料，新的方法，来把这个菜煮出来。这个时候就会不一样的感感觉了。A lot of trade off need to be made. Electric is not as powerful by reality as gasoline can ever be. But efficiency matter. Gas engine, eh? You don't know that. One, you know, gas engine, the engine, the gas engine. Efficiency, about sixty percent. If you're lucky, sometimes it's, it's down at about thirty percent efficiency. And tell them. So, you, you can have one hundred percent of things. You only have thirty percent of them. The other one is where? Fuel, 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 fuel. 电动车我没有这个 luxury， 因为电池还没够好，啊，够好，差不多了，但是还没可以浪费能源的时间。这个时候，我每一个东西，我以前做 H T C 看 micro M， 不是 M， 是 micro M。这个设计的这个概念，这个方向，给我们省很多 energy。我们的听每一天 measure 的东西是一笔一笔一笔慢慢慢慢 measure 来出来。怎么可以省这个 energy？ 省这个 energy， 这个时候需要什么啊 ？If I have somebody that was making let's say a motor， and somebody making a motor controller， and somebody making the drive chain gearbox， 然后我跟他说，哎，这个马达可以改一下吗？我在外面找到一家，他说改改一下吗？他说可以啊，但是等我，我有五个客户，等我一下，我要问一下我另外五个客户怎么，他们怎么怎么怎么想。OK， 等一下。你看这个五个客户呢，刚刚好呢也是用另外一个 controller， 他也有五个客户 ，Gearbox 也有五个客户。这个是一百二十个原因，一百二十五个原因，为什么他会说跟我说不 ？Right， 还有 twenty five reason they will say no to me。Forget it， 我自己做出来，我知道谁是在做马达的，我知道谁是在 control controller 的，我知道谁在做 Gearbox 的，马上。Put together, 谈一谈。我不要辜负这个 process， 这可以创创创造一些新的东西出来。But that has to do with, you know, the fact that if you make make a chair out of the same fabric, same foam, same cushion, you get that chair, same chair. But if you change the ingredient, change the way that you think about what it is, you get something new, and that's what innovation is. Is solving things in ways never before thought possible. Solving it in ways that like nobody else solved it. That's why we made Gogoro, and that's one of the reason why when you ride a Gogoro, you feel that it feels a lot different than other vehicle. That takes a takes a, a thinking that is very laser focused for one purpose to impress the consumer. You have to take that focus. Don't worry about you know. You know, 旁边的怎么样？这个这个 common part 会不会用 common part? Yes, maybe it's good to have common part for some project. But if you want to go break through and create innovative projects, get rid of backup plan. Get rid of it. Remember my ten points? Get rid of those. Now then, you can actually create something new, and you jump further, and you create something that would impress the consumer. 最最后。让我再问一个策略上的问题，因为我是商学院的老师嘛。然后，其实我呃，礼拜天参加一个就是七强大学 ，Nicholas Han， 是 Security University。Nicholas Han， and I heard his speech just、uh, just just Monday， and he said that our technology now 是成指数成长 ，our technology 嗯 grow grow in a exponential exponential way。Means they are not linear way, but it's partial way. So it's always jump very radically. 就是成我们现在科技是成指数成长，所以它它跳跃的非常非常的激进这样子。That means that you build a lot of you you want to do something that disruptive innovation in the in the base model innovation like go station. The favorite student of go station is that it's a it's a, you know the the base model innovation, but I want to ask, but but because he said 
科技成指数增长的结果，就是说，当你把这些你的 goal stage 都建制完成之前，可能有新的科技又立刻出来了，就绿能的科技，譬如说以太阳能来取代这种电池交换的可能性，这样子。You you want to stay? I understand. I understand. So therefore, 因为现在的那个他强调重点是说，因为所有的科技在指数成长，所以一个科技刚出来，它要成一个，它要到一个，就是成长到一个地步之前，很快它可能又被另外一个科技的商业模式所取代。那我不知道说你自己本身在评估说，当初用电池的方式交换电池的方式，在这个 moment， 它其实是可能是 advanced。不，但但是因为科技现在成长的速度，有可能当你还没有把整个 f i n s model 建制完成的时候，它又跳跃到另外一个用，真的是用 solar energy， 用太阳能来驱动这些所有东西的模式。甚至我们可能以后可能不需要 go stage 这种东西，太阳能是直接建制在所谓的 vehicle 上面。那我不知道说你怎么评估说这种可能性。这是。So let me let me explain a little bit about what, you know, why I say that we are a not a school company. We're actually a smart city and smart grid company. I'll give you a little bit of this station. I'm going to say this is a plant station. This plant station is not just a plant station. We don't do that. We actually, the first step we'll do when you put a battery in, we see we evaluate how much of this plant station is going to last. Because we're going to see how much of this plant station is going to last. Because we're going to see how much of this plant station is going to last. Because we're going to see how much of this plant station is going to last. Because we're going to see 为什么要充电呢？等一下才充嘛。Right? So based on current condition, previous condition, to predict what energy, how we can actually take up energy. And if you don't know, battery happens to be the fastest generation and storage of energy, other than maybe a capacitor, a supercapacitor. But battery is a very, very effective way to turn on, off, on, off. 你发电站没可能，太阳能也没可能。There's not enough power in it to go up, down, up, down. Eventually, what we want to do is take that power and put it back to the grid. So when the entire grid has a very high demand on energy, we can give the energy back based on whether or not there's anybody using energy on battery. If two o'clock in the afternoon on Wednesday nobody ever uses energy, then we can actually put that energy back into the grid. That's the basic step of what the go station does. It's a micro smart grid. It's not a just a 充电站。你看到这个东西不是一个充电站，它是一个很大的电池。客户、customer、骑车的朋友可以去拿这个电池来放在他这车上，但这个电池也可以做别的东西。在这里面。Now as 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 technology trend, and you saw Taiyang Nanghui or Taiyi technology, to think that you are creating the solution forever is stupid. You are not. I mean, I'm not out to create the forever solution. Nothing is forever in the world. Nothing. 很多很几百年前 ，you know， 可能有一个老贝贝每天都爬山，去抓这个冰块下来，因为。人家发现，哎、欸，放个冰块在水里面很好喝，很舒服，所以他每一天去爬山 ，OK， 去抓这个冰块出下来，每一天可以上来。我们可能有一些朋友在在在在这个房间里面看过《爱神信》，在城市里面有一个很大的机器，它做冰块出来的。我小的时候你记得，它做冰块出来的，吐冰块很大块冰块，《爱神信》。Not like your refrigerator， 但是做冰块出来的。你要爬山，这个老贝贝说，干嘛要要要要投资这么大的这个机器在这里？我每一天去爬山，我几个月我换一双鞋子就好了，很很舒服，很容易。谁赢了 ？The ice machine guy， but the ice machine guy is not the 爬山这个人， not the same guy， not the guy that went up to the mountain and got ice。Then eventually， people invented the refrigerator。The guy that went to the Arctic Circle, lived there for a while, said, "Hey, it's amazing. Frozen food can actually preserve food." So he invented the refrigerator and the freezer. And then people said, "Why would I pay so much money to put an ice box in my house when there's an ice machine right down the street? I just go every every morning go get ice." So who won? 
convenience. The guy that actually put the refrigerator in your house. Now. Again, that guy is not the ice machine guy. He didn't make the ice machine. The ice machine guy was too busy making ice. <laughs> right? To think you are the final solution, you are not. But it's good enough to be the interim solution because in the economy of industries, we go through what we call the S-curve economy. It started off when you very, very, very long time ago, yo ma ma, ma te, ma te. This is you know, horse carriage. You never thought that it could be something else. Then he was doing it, and then at some point it became flat. The economy goes like this and becomes flat. The next guy starts and says, I invented a car. A carriage that allows gasoline to move you from point A to point B. That guy in the very beginning was very painful, the industry. Didn't get any adoption. Eventually, he started lifting. Huh? But it's not the same guy that built the carriage that adopted six horses, eight horses, right? He's the next guy. The next guy comes up. And to be honest with you, the reason why in Taiwan, there used to be one million scooters sold per year. Why? No innovation. Why buy something when something is identical to something you already have? So what we're seeing is a slowdown of that curve. That curve is now plateauing. It's slowing down. So now it's a great opportunity for new technology to come in and take up that. Uh, but most of the time, the people that take up that is not the people that created the previous curve. So we call it the S-curve economy. It takes time to lift. But once you lift to a certain point, it lifts. People adopt it. I believe that electric transportation will happen. In our lifetime, it will happen. And it is better for the Earth. So it should happen. 我剛剛聽過來的時候,看到這個學校很多台這個這個機器,這個你們我們的機器,你要燒這個,you be amazing if this university actually ban fossil fuel. No up the mountain and smelling. You have a beautiful lake here. Beautiful water, beautiful trees, beautiful road. Why have to burr? I don't get it. It smells, it's noisy, it's dumb, right? Wouldn't it be amazing if the college campus would actually say, just electric vehicle only? Wouldn't our life be a lot smarter and cleaner? And not healthier, right? Why start off life in the college with a whole bunch of you know dirty stuff next to you, right? I believe that electric transportation, electrification of transportation will happen. And that curve is just starting. And Taiwan, if you don't know, and you should believe that Taiwan can be the leader in electric transportation. If you don't know in Zhanghua, Taizhong, Tainan, Kaohsiung, Nanbu, the Zhongnanbu, how do you do motor Four wheel and two wheel vehicle. Taiwan is one of the strongest in component mechanics. Houdang, Weidang, yes, and strong. Electrical component, very strong. BTT, uh, very strong. Sate, very strong. We have an opportunity to take all those industries and convert it to the next generation of transportation that we all focus on. That will become a huge industry. Your smartphone. I'm sorry to say, a smartphone in the next couple of years will become a commoditized product. You wouldn't care. You would buy it, pay it, pay it, buy it. Does it really excite the consumer? Maybe not as much. You buy the best, the fastest, the the biggest screen. You know where it is? It will be in the vehicle. 
the analytics that a vehicle will do to do autonomous driving and safe driving will surpass any computers that you have in your house. It is true. It will happen. And who made be better computers than anybody else? Taiwan. If we focus on it, we can make that industry a huge industry in Taiwan. Become the next big thing. That is the trend. You see Tesla, you hear about Porsche's, you know, Bao Xi you hear about BMW, i series, i ba, i san. You heard about autonomous driving. You heard about all these things that enable a car to become smarter. It will happen. The question is who's gonna make it happen? It's all you can the origination of energy will be different. I care about the storage of information of energy. That's and the distribution of it. Maybe in the future is not positive. Maybe in the future is something else. But we have to be open minded. We have to work with a lot of people to understand what that potential is. We have to experience experiment and fail. We have to create the intro solution so we have a future for a future solution. It's, it's, it's do it now. Try it. And then it'll work. And if it doesn't work, we correct it. We make it happen. We be agile, be open minded, work with others to make it work. Take a water, son. My name is Kwan, and everyone is very curious of Google World, and uh, I may have some questions. Okay. Uh -huh. and first question is, um, another scooter manufacturers, they want to develop an electronic scooter with, with chargeable battery, but they lack of the key technology, like a battery or engine, and will Google World share this the key technology to the market, and uh, will Google World share the, trend, the Go Station? With other other brands that battery they did love the new battery. It's my issue. So I started this company, I first started to make a Google Energy Network. I first the model was that I to bring others to do this car. But I was doing the battery and battery distribution. This is my field. I got a lot of rules. I have a simple rule inside our company and the way I work. 如果我有三个很大的布的时候呢我就敲我自己做了只要敲我们三次那不是说敲我手边的我们就敲我自己算了是很有意思的布我就我就敲我就敲我就敲我就敲我就敲我就敲我就敲我就敲我就敲我就
，如果没电的时候，带你朋友去海边去逛，去逛一逛，你看没电了，哦哦，有<笑>可能可以可以可以可以借回家吗？很很丢脸哎，路上看到很多朋友，对不起，要记得回家的时候就可以等这个三个小时去充电啊。Not a solution, but imagine if the city already has the Google Energy Network. And the people that create vehicle, when they ship a vehicle to the consumer, immediately it can be running on the network. That's what we want to work on. That's what we believe in. We believe in an open platform that allows this industry to take off. Get rid of all the problem of electric vehicle. Bring in all the goodness of electric vehicle. 有些人，我跟你说，别的厂商比我多车，可能更好。真的 ，I don't think I get the best vehicle. I think it's good. It's very good. But I think that others can do even better. And I can't wait to see what other people do with our batteries and our platform. That's that's what I aspire to. It makes me excited and happy to see other people use what we created to create their things. This is a one one different idea. But that's that's the intention of the platform. The platform was never intended as a private platform. The, the platform was never intended. Go rural battery for go rural scooter only. It was supposed to be a energy grid for all electric vehicles. That's that's our aspiration. Hopefully, we can get it to that level. Another question is, uh, Google begins with smart schedule, and uh, what is your next schedule? For example, like uh, developing an electronic vehicle, or maybe. The charging, the Go station is everywhere in Taiwan in the future. And will this station have another application, not only on scooter? Well, that's a very, very secret question. <laughs> <laughs> it's for me to know and for you to guess. You know, it's a. 对我来说是 ，you know， 很多年，你会看到你你这个这个台湾都不知道我在做什么。很多年离开你那边之后。Took about three years, nine years, out to like, oh, I'm doing this thing. There was a whisper, and there was people guessing what I was working on, but nobody knew exactly what I was working on. I don't like to talk about doing things. I like to do things, and when I get it done, I will then share it with the world. So a lot of people talk about, oh, I can do this, I can, we can do this, but yeah, talk is cheap. Remember, we got execution matter. So we'll focus on execution, but I can tell you that we're working on things with wheels and without wheels. Now, some have wheels, some have no wheels, and then the ones that are without wheels get me just as excited and enthusiastic as the one that actually has wheels. Because I see this future, how it can influence the development of a big city. This is very good. Because I think this can be done when I'm 80. 八十岁的时候，坐在山上跟朋友喝茶，说：“你知道吗？这个城市现在这样子，多棒 ！I I helped. That's all I want. I helped. That's it. I helped. One, two, three. Keep what? Keep asking. It's okay. <laughs> And, uh, the final objection of Google is to build a smart city, like. When you live in the mountain, talk with your friends in the city, you build it. And can you just describe more details and specifics about how this smart city in your mind would be? So, the way the energy is used in a in a in a in a daytime or in in a city is like this. Late at night, everybody's sleeping very low. Then you wake up in the morning, and all of a sudden. People, you know, 煮早餐啊，洗澡啊 ，energy is up. People commute to work, turn on 冷气 ，turn on 电脑，呜，上去，可能下午睡睡午觉，差一点点，然后过去，然后回家看电视、煮饭，然后大家睡觉，下来，对吗 ？About one third of the day is pretty low in energy use, pretty low. As city gets bigger, that peak will be, become higher and higher. 会越来越高。And then, it's unfortunate that power plants needs to increase the capacity in order to satisfy that peak. 
I envision a future where I can take this building off the grid during the daytime. When everybody needs energy, we take this building off the grid. That's what batteries can do. And one day, we hope to do that. That Gold Girl can be a key player in that space to manage energy, not only on a day to night, night to day level, but to the seconds. Being able to control that and take the, sp the, the spikes downward. And that will create a smarter energy grid, a smarter utility grid. That's one. The second thing that I believe in is a lot of people would ask me, hey, you know, was it Taiwan Fabian Si Lu Suti Pa Hai Zhong Sao Mei the natural gas? Was it Gan Jing? Right? But I want to be a busy young man. Okay, so me equal me. Young Taiwan Fabian or who's it better? What are the Taiwan and the Fabian? Taiwan the Fabian be it Tai Chio Che Chi the equal me. Send the Ruban Basu Pa. Basu Pa. It only requires twenty percent of the pollution, only generates twenty percent of pollution for the kilowatt that it takes to move you from point A to point B. That's it, to one fifth. And then if we increase the efficiency of the grid, increase the greenness of the grid, we can only benefit. And to us also, moving by Pai Ji Kwan, Li Kai Ming, the Sun Ho Wan Jing, is very important. Yes, going electric is not, might not be the absolute most perfect solution now. But we know that there's only one fossil fuel, but there are many kind of electric. And by creating, generating demand on electric, we will find a solution. We are forced to find a solution that's better. There is no perfect solution. We have to solve it one step at a time. And when it comes to smart city, as I said, everything is connected. Even down to the key fault, 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 and we can be part of that element to change city for the smarter. Street lamps should be connected. Why light up when there are no cars going by? There are many things that are very interesting that we can do as we think about cities being smarter with power. It's very important as we city gets bigger and more people. Google轉移中會走向一個智慧型的跳接能源的一個什麼這種什麼就智慧型的跳接能源什麼energy的focus這樣就是中心的焦點會是從Google轉移中會走向一個智慧型的跳接能源什麼energy的focus這樣就是中
OK， 好，我我我我知道他问的问题了，大家。嗯、um, ，You know, if as an investor, people invest in the number one thing people invest in. Do you know what it is? Buyer. Your sales. You. People. 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 Investor don't invest in technology. Very seldomly, investor invests in assets. People invest in people, and the investors that we have are very generous. I mean, Sun Sun, he's a very visionary person. Within half an hour of my conversation with him, Agassi, he got what I was talking about, and we shook hands. And became partners for life. He invested in one simple thing: big idea and the person behind it that will drive it and make it happen. That's very simple. And the flexibility that comes with that has to be limitless. And the reason why it has to be limitless is you can never forecast the future. Nobody knows what's going to happen tomorrow. Nobody, and the only way to make it happen is that if tomorrow, two cities or, yo, plan 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 的时候，要把这个东西做好的时候 ，is the team that can make it happen. Because the team, at the end of the day, remember, happy people build happy products. Smart people build ha smart solutions. That's it's that simple. It's people. Surround yourself with great people. And things will happen. Surround yourself with bad people, things don't happen. Smart people make smart products. That's it. That's simple. And the flexibility to come to that means the empowerment of the team, and the team needs to make that happen. That's what. That's what. That's what. You know. That's how GoGo started, and that's how GoGo continue to be. Uh, so again, second question. <laughs> Um, I've got two questions. I got two small ones. I, I, can, I just shut up. Um, first, internally, and second, externally. Um, the internal question is: You said about don't innovate for money, right? Um, that's your idea. But how can you uh, make sure that every of your guys, your employees, everyone got like the same idea of don't innovate for money? Because you know, the the society it's cruel. People work for money. People work for themselves. They have families. So, um, how did this idea came to be like an ideology of the whole um, company, Gogoro? And the second question is: Now you were talking about a more hyper-connected um, uh, world these days, right? Um, the more connected people are, the more vulnerable to attacks, like cyber attacks or any other attacks, like terrorist attacks. Um, is there, are there any two small questions? Those are big questions. <laughs> <laughs> are there any precautions or things we could do? Okay. 第一个问题是关于这个，我、嗯、sorry， 这一边的 the first one。Don't even wait for my culture to persuade others to follow you. The there's of course fairness in the world. You have to have an equal trade on on what a person. When I say don't do it for money, I don't mean cheap food. I don't mean don't pay you. But you should not chase that dream. That be faithful. Be patient. Don't be desperate. And don't you lay and cry get drunk and bore him. They go and go to the What you lost, that is greater, is time. Time. Don't chase for money. Of course, we pay our employees. You know, a very fair market value for what they do, because at the end they contribute their intellectual thinking and their effort into an equation. 
And that equation has to be very fair and spit out. At the end of the day, that employee, I'll tell you, it never makes me prouder to see an employee buy a house. It never makes me prouder to see an employee buy a car. It never make, makes me prouder to see an employee take a vacation. And though I want to, you know, 老闆會說,你不要工作啊,會說,你還怕去度假,因為老闆會說你可能不夠工作做。啊?還怕去買一個房子,因為說,你買房子的時候要多,不要告訴老闆,因為老闆會很感覺你要pay too much. <笑> but that's not the idea. The idea is fairness in trade. Fair on my part, fair on your part. And then at the end of the day, if we all succeed together, share together. If we all fail together, fail together. That's the idea. The second part about uh, tax. Yes, we live in a world that is hyper-connected. We have to do a lot of things to make sure that security and privacy is taken care of. That's a part of a business and industry, I would say, responsibility. <coughs> we can't make something that is so vulnerable that just lets people shut down the whole network. We can't take, you know, take personal data and send it to the cloud. That's not something we do. But there are certain things that you should be able to enjoy between your device and your other device. Where you, you park your vehicle, only you know. But it, unless you give us permission to know, we don't know. Huh? That's very important, giving privacy with, a, with what we call a wall of security. When it comes to other security, our vehicle, for example, um, I can't tell you the detail of the security because then it's too easy to, to find the you know find opportunities. But we're pretty pretty confident that we have invested properly. Uh, simply put, the battery and the security of the battery uh, for for Anchen, gun, gun authentication, it's a 256 bit encryption. Uh, cyber banking, online banking is 128 bit. It takes to do our analysis, and we hire experts to help us with that too. Through our analysis, it takes 11 million years to crack our battery with a supercomputer. 11 million years. I wish I could see it, but <laughs> probably was not, you know, not likely it's going to happen in my lifetime. But security is very important to us. We take security matter very, 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 with a lot of investment, a lot of care, a lot of reviews, and a lot of protection. That's important to us. It's a fundamental of business. You can't say, oh, that was a nice to have. It's where it started. Well, thank you for the brilliant speech today. You really inspired me as a young engineer. And my question is, right now, I got this idea inside my mind, and I think this idea is dope, and the timing is perfect in this very moment in this country. However, right now I have a little bit of skill that I learned from this school and by myself, but it's not enough. But I have a little bit of found that collect by my partners, but it's not enough. And as a student, I found that it, the, the method and the resource is really limited for my idea to transport into this reality. So I would like to hear about your advice. And actually, you, I would be appreciate there's two aspects of the answer. The first one is as a big brother, the, the young passionate fellows come up with this idea. What will you give them as an advice? And the second one is as a businessman, as a operator for the company. How would you suggest a potential business partner as a wild project?我简单说一下那个同学，我女同学说很受很受到那个Horace的鼓舞一样子，然后她觉得她有很多充满创造创造业的想法，因为她现在觉得说她身为一个年轻的又是学生的创业者，她觉得她受到很多资源上的局限，
很多人呢以为呢，他可以是杀一个 Mark Zuckerberg， 他可以是杀一个啊，什、呃、么 Larry Page， 杀一个 Bill Gates。The reality is that for every one person that succeeded, there was a probably an overwhelming amount of people that did not succeed. And it's just like, you know, you want to be a singer. You know, singer. It doesn't matter how good you are in KTV in, in, in singing. Sometimes it just doesn't happen. But I can tell you, there's a guarantee path. The guarantee path is don't be anxious, don't be desperate. Go. The best learning you can have as a young person walking into into a world is go learn from others. Go join a company. Go learn. Go study. Open-minded. Ask questions. Be part of a team. Not be a team of one, but a team of many. A big corporation. Learn from them. Take steps. I was at Microsoft. I was. I was at Microsoft ten years. I learned a lot, both how to fail and how to succeed. Yes, the credit wasn't mine. The credit was the company's. But that's okay. I got more out of it than they did. I didn't get more money out of it. I got knowledge. I got experiences. I got stories. <coughs> Much more important than money. Who join a company? Learn that. <coughs> and then, as a businessman, I'll tell you that. Do that as, as, as a brother, as a big brother. Thinking about you know how to, how to go down the drain. And as a businessman, I will tell you that you know as you go into a company, you have the job responsibility. To deliver something that you promised the customer, the, the the company, but you also can leverage the company resource to convince your manager and your team that something else can be also the solution. But don't that, do that on the company time. Do that on the extra time because it's more meaningful. You first have to deliver the basic. Then after you deliver the basic, you know I used to work, you know when I was young. I slept only three hours a day. 每一天哦，三个小时哦，就够了。现现在有点老了，所以要五到六个小时，一个不是就就没办法了。You know, 有时候我还是三四个小时，但是会比较比较累嘛。好像昨天我睡了四个小时。But you can tell I'm, you know, as some of you were falling asleep in the room, I I, I saw some people falling asleep. I won't point finger. I I I won't point finger who was falling asleep. But I saw people falling asleep. It's not even nine o'clock. Why are you falling asleep? I just got started. I'm going back to Taipei for a meeting at 10 o'clock. I was trying to get another meeting at 11 o'clock set up. But take a seat on well, 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 well. You know, partner from China flew over to meet me, right? Do the extra credit because the extra credit is the most meaningful, both for you and for the company that you're working for. Stay later. Stay at night. <laughs> Use the company tools and resources to do it. That's the best, best tool you got, right? Then in the daytime, deliver your, your your what you because at the end of the day, a salary, a paycheck, it's a trade, a trade for a commitment that says, for this amount of money, I will put in X amount of hours and I deliver to you X amount of things. And for that, the boss says, I will give you X amount, X you know, X amount of money. It's an equal trading opportunity, and that trade is what you committed to as an employee. So that's a basic minimum that you have to do. But at night, you can do extra credit, and the extra credit will earn you a lot of respect when it works, and it'll also earn you a lot of respect when it fails. Remember that. That is really important. Focus on extra credit. You know, as students, you know, guys know all what extra credit means. Huh? Do extra credit. Don't do the basic. The people that stand up different is the guy that raises the hand really quick. Huh? Is the guy that does the extra credit. You know, when you're when when I go look at you know little kids playing soccer, the guy the little kid that gets my attention is not the kid that scores the goal all the time. It's the kid that falls down and picks himself up. And do it again, and then do it again, and then do it again, and do it again, and do it again. 
that endurance is what get the manager and the boss to notice that you are putting the extra credit in and that's why you are different and you will be given those opportunities. 很多人呢会说,你知道我妈妈给我蛮多蛮多 um, lessons I learned when I was uh, uh, when I was uh, growing up. 有一个很,对我来说很深的这个一句话,他说 Normal people always wait for opportunities to come by. 快等,等机会. 聪明的人呢,会创作机会出来, will create those opportunities. 笨的人呢,机会跑过去他都不知道了,他没有感觉,机会就直接出去,他说啊,为什么?So be the smart one, be on alert, create those opportunities, those, that's extra credit. Because you know, as you guys know, you know, I actually um I'll share I'll share I'll share, I'll share two things. One is, you know, it's interesting. Maybe I grew up in a different industry, a different time. I uh, I noticed when I'm talking, a lot of students are hustle. You know, it's a bad habit. You know, I'm one of the innovators that created. I can't say I'm the only one, but I'm one of the innovators that created the handset. And I'm saddened sometimes by the fact that I sit sit down in a cafe and. You know, 看到一个男朋友跟一个女朋友讲话的 And then they just, you know, use a satellite to communicate through line, you know? And that's what they do, right? They sit there for, for like 45 minutes, an hour, not talking once to each other. You know how I made Gogoro happen? What was the key ingredient to make Gogoro happen? Any, anybody can guess? If it's one word, what made what made Google happen? Ah, who said that? Good. Communication. It is the exact word I was I was gonna say. Communication. The fact that the vehicle works so well with the technology part of it, that works so well with the energy part of it, that works so well with the motor part of it, it works so well with the mechanical part of it, that works so well with the design part of it, has one fundamental string through the entire thing. Communication. But the good part is you can see everybody in the room. We have 15-minute, 10-minute meeting. Communication. The worst thing is you do your thing and she does her thing and then he does his thing and later on, you know. That's why some laptops are so thick. I do keyboard, get away. I make keyboards. Or I do computer, you know, they got a PCB. They walk away, please, don't don't bother me. I, you know, when you have your piece your keyboard module done, give me the keyboard module. I put it in. Right? That's why you have something so ugly and big. But the elegant ones, the why the solution was elegant, is because of communication. Everything has to do with communication. How do you talk to somebody? How do you convince them? How do you share your ideas? How do you make trade-offs together? Nothing is perfect. You have to make trade-offs. Communication. Here the very key, very key point I want to leave with you is be happy. Be happy. And people around you will be happy. Be happy. You know? We're not happy. It's really happy. You have to be very, very content with what you have. You know? Be content. Say, you know, I have the greatest... Just be alive is exciting. 
then you can do things to make it even more exciting if you're happy. But if you're sad, what happens? It goes down. Downward spiral. Don't get yourself in a downward spiral. You have a whole life ahead of you. You know, I know many Taiwanese men in the past, I think, why are you not happy? When I was your age, I was so happy. I was so excited. Kids today sometimes complain to me, why am I working until 8 o'clock at night? I worked until 8 in the morning when I was 20-something. Not because I had to, because I wanted to. Because it was my glorious time. I believe that I have energy like Superman and I can do anything I want. Be happy. And when you're happy, happiness gives you beauty. It gives you good skin. It gives you good energy. It gives you good friends. Happy. That's the note I will leave you. Be happy. And everything will be okay if you're happy. And as a, as a nation, as a community, as a university, be happy. And then happy people build happy products. And wouldn't it be great if we all have happy products around us? Thank you.